Hey everyone, this is FaZe and welcome back to my channel. A few days back, I did a review on the new 2022 iPad Pro with the M2 chip. So if you wanna check that review out, you can click the link above or in the description below to check it out. So I got the 256 gigabyte iPad Pro in the silver color. I always used the iPad Pro as my main editing machine and pretty much as my own computer. And I've always loved it. So now with my M2 iPad, I wanted to kind of show you guys what apps I have on it and what my home screen and what my setup is like. So this is the iPad Pro. I always use my iPad Pro in this magic keyboard. I really, really like it. It allows me to use my iPad as a tablet when I want to. And when I just dock it on over here, it basically becomes my editing machine. I write and respond to emails from here. It basically becomes like a computer. So without any further ado, let me show you what's on my iPad. So first things first, this is my lock screen. You know, there's not a way to customize your lock screen like you can on, let's say the iPhone, where you can have numerous different screens that you can set up with different wallpapers and widgets. I wish that they brought that over to the iPad Pro or just all iPads in general. But anyways, let's swipe up. So this is my home screen. It's very simple and to the point. I basically just use one page to have everything, my widgets, my apps, because now there's the app library, right? So you don't need to have so many pages of apps when you've got the app library. And I have the second page just to show you all the apps that are in the app library that so that I don't have to individually go through each folder. But anyways, let's look at the main home screen. So on the top left, I've got the Apple Books widget, basically shows me the book that I'm reading and how many minutes I'm away from my goal. So I have a goal of reading at least five minutes a day at the very least. So as you can see, I've barely made an impact today. Uh, I have five minutes to read to meet my goal. And by the way, I'm reading this book called The Club by Ellery Lloyd. Very good, highly re recommend you check it out if you're into reading. So right next to that widget, I've got the battery widget, which basically in a quick glance, I can see how much my iPad is charged, my Apple Pencil, my AirPods, the case for my AirPods. I like to see all of that. Now this specific widget is a stack. So right underneath that, I've got the calendar overview for the month. Now next, I've got the news widget. Every morning when I wake up, I literally pick up my iPad and I'm just scrolling through the news. So throughout the day, whatever it is, you know, I like to see the top stories and the trending stories. So that's my news widget. Next, I've got the weather widget. Basically shows me uh, the weather and what temperature it is for the next few hours. Underneath that, I've got a calendar widget, which basically just shows me all the events that I've got coming up. The very corner, I've got the Apple TV widget. So it shows me what I'm currently watching and what's next. So these are basically the widgets that I use on my iPad Pro, and I've got them stacked on the top of the home screen, as you can see. Now below that are the applications that I use literally religiously on a daily basis. FaceTime, Files, reminders, LinkedIn. If you want to follow me on LinkedIn, go send me a connection. I will connect with you. Uh, I've got the camera app. I've got the app store, Facebook, YouTube. I gotta have YouTube, right? It's probably my number one, my most favorite app on this device. And of course, I've got YouTube Studio right next to it. And this is a great app as it allows me to see how my, you know, my videos are ranking, what my views are like, the comments that are coming in. But this is a great app that I think every YouTube content creator should have. Next up, LumaFusion. Now, LumaFusion is a great app. It's the best video editing app for iPads, I should say. So this is where I edit all my videos on YouTube. I'm also an independent marketing consultant and a content creator on the side. So for my clients, I'm always using LumaFusion to basically edit everything. Then I've got Studio by GoDaddy. I absolutely love this app. I think it's way better than Canva. Um, you can literally create custom graphics right there on your iPad and they look so nice. And not just custom graphics, but even custom videos that could be used for social media, flyers, posters, you name it. There's probably something you can find great use for this. And once again, you get great photo editing, you get background removals, amazing fonts you can download, great graphics. And there's just an, a plethora of amazing templates you can choose from. You can even discover a lot of great stuff. So this is the studio app by GoDaddy. I highly recommend it. Then I've got settings. And in my doc, I've got messages, Safari, mail, calendar, photos, notes, and obviously all the recently uh, viewed applications show up on the right-hand side. Now, instead of me going through every single folder on the app library, I've just comprised all of those apps on my second page. 
You've got Contacts, Clock, Find My, Voice Memos, Measure in the Apple Store, Keynote, Numbers, and Pages. I use these three apps on a daily basis religiously because these are my go-to apps for creating amazing slide decks, you know, spreadsheets, and basically documents. So I view them on here. I'll take my Apple Pencil and I'll create edits with them. These three are the apps, like I said, that I use all the time. Absolutely love these three apps. And then as you can see, I'm a big streamer. I love, you know, not just creating content for you guys, but I also love consuming content. So obviously I consume a lot of content on YouTube, but I also have HBO Max, Disney Plus, Netflix, Tubi, Hulu, Peacock, Prime Video, you know, Pluto TV. I've got all of these apps where I'm streaming amazing content from. So if you have any great shows or movies you recommend, comment below and let me know. I'll, I'll definitely check those out. So aside from those streaming apps, I've got the Face app, which is basically a photo editing app. Let's be honest, we've all been there where we take a picture and you've got a blemish or acne or there's something that isn't looking right. This app lets me quickly you know, make those modifications. Uh, I've got the Zoom app. Um, this is where I basically talk to all my clients. I've got the Facebook Messenger app. And obviously you need Amazon. I mean, who doesn't have Amazon, right? Um, but yeah, long story short, these are practically all the apps that I have on my iPad Pro. But at the end of the day, there's so much this device can do. And I feel like I'll probably get 10 times more apps on my iPad within the next month. So if you see that I don't have a ton of apps, it's probably because I just recently cleaned it up. But at the end of the day, I wanna know what iPad apps that you use and you think that I should probably download and use as well. So comment below and let me know what those are. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.